It's an English-speaking program, and personally for me it was important not to study in German. Uh, my German was fluent at the time, and I certainly wanted to learn another language. Um, it was abroad um, for me, even though it was just across the border. And it's a program that was unique at that time. Um, now it's introduced to Germany, but still it's going to be unique in Freiburg as well. And it offers something that is not offered in many other universities. To choose your curriculum, to choose your courses, to have the freedom to know what you want to do. And to enable the students to find out gradually what they are really good at and then become even better at that. The choice itself was very much um, a chance occurrence in the sense that I stumbled across this program while I was living in Cambodia and I thought it was interesting so I applied and there was an early deadline that for 1st of January and I would know by March whether I would get in. So I thought I could apply to all sorts of other problems, uh, programs after March and I, I applied, I got in. So I didn't have uh, any thought process behind choosing liberal arts and sciences specifically but I very much enjoy having taken that choice. I didn't know that it was that much work, to be honest, because I thought, you know, studying, it's a nice time of your life. And then to know that, or to find out that it's really a lot of work to do, a lot of papers to write, that was kind of unexpected. What I knew and what I was looking forward to was choosing the subjects I wanted to get to know and um, to choose courses and disciplines that I really liked. Um, I didn't know, for instance, that I was interested in law when I started, but taking courses like Introduction to Law and International Law really made me excited about that. So I had the opportunity to choose more courses. And especially for those students who um, finish school with being good at many things, and they don't know what they want to specialize in. LAS is a great chance to find that out and then specialize in it. Well, what I expected and what I really got out of it is a lot of freedom in terms of uh, myself choosing different courses and doing really my own thing and planning my own curriculum, which is something that I'd hoped for and that was fully fulfilled by the program. What I didn't expect in a negative sense maybe was the fact that it was very school-like in terms of its administration oftentimes, so with very clear deadlines, very uh, strict rules as to um, attendance and uh, having to hand in things on time and these sort of things and very severe punishments if you didn't. Which is something that I didn't quite enjoy uh, from a university environment and didn't quite expect from it. In a, a positive sense what surprised me was the really the people uh, that, I, that I came to meet through the program because I, I did expect to, there to be quite a lot of people who didn't know quite what they were going to do and were a little bit aimless for, maybe but really it surprised me that there were so many people with interesting biographies who knew very clearly what this program was for them and that what they wanted to do with them and it was a lot of fun interacting with these people and uh, discussing stuff with them. I would definitely say that it has made me even more open-minded towards things. So I'm very interested in reading academic journals, for instance, and I'm not only reading political journals, but I also like to read something about medicine or about teaching, about the environment and so on. And I believe that if I had focused on one specific a subject from the very beginning, I would have been more interested to only learn about that because this would help at university. Um, to have this broad background enables me to be interested in many things and to keep on learning in those different disciplines. Um, also, it certainly has made me more open and tolerant towards different cultures and different international backgrounds, different international problems. Because we learn a lot of theories that are obviously not only applicable to one specific problem, but to different situations. So it actually happens that I'm somewhere, traveling somewhere, and I realize that people behave in a certain way, or that there's a certain problem. And then I think of a theory that I learned back at university, and I can suddenly see everything in a certain pattern, um, which is nice to know that what I learned at university actually makes sense, 
and it helps me in my everyday life instead of being this theoretical background that I can forget as soon as I leave the building. I very much live uh, liberal arts and sciences in, in my life. I mean, I, I interact with the people that I, um, that I meet at uni in, in my daily life because those tend to be the people that are active in the city and that I, I'm friends with. I live with people from my own study program. So really my entire life is permeated by uh, liberal arts and sciences and all the time there are discussions about topics that somehow are related to uni.